M1128 Striker is an eight-wheeled armored fighting vehicle based on Canadian LAV-3, mounting 105mm gun, developed by General Dynamics Land System GDLS. It entered service in 2002 as a replacement of the Sheridan light tank and has been passed through many modifications since then. The main combat role of this vehicle is to provide direct fire support to infantry elements by destroying bunkers, defeat machine gun nests, and most important, to eliminate sniper positions with precision to ensure infantry cover and lethal threat to enemy armored vehicles, including tank. While it could take on some of the roles of a tank, but it is not designed as a tank replacement. Its main key function is to ensure mission success by quick deployment on the battlefield and the survivability of the combined arms company. The distinctive design includes the low-profile turret and eight wheels, ensuring the elements of mobility and agility to provide precise fire support in a tactical way. The General Dynamics built Striker weighs just 20 tons, compared to 70 tons for an M1 tank. But the reduced weight comes at a cost. The $5 million apiece Strikers have thinner armor and smaller weapons than a tank. Crew comprises three personnel including driver, gunner, and commander. The gunner and the commander are sighted on the sides of the turret, and either of them can operate the cannon, while the driver is in the front of the vehicle. The early MGS has no air conditioning system, and during their service in Iraq in immense 50 degrees Celsius heat, the crew was equipped with cooling vests. But later variants were retrofit with the air conditioning units on the front right side. The main armament includes a 105mm M68A1E4 rifled gun that is a modified version of the gun used on M60 and early M1 Abram tanks. The gun is fully stabilized with fire on the move capability and carries an autoloader with a rate of fire of 10 rounds per minute. This mobile gun system carries 18 rounds with 8 in the autoloader carousel and 10 rounds in the replenisher at the back of the vehicle. 105mm gun can fire four types of ammunition including kinetic energy penetrators to destroy armored vehicles. High explosive and high explosive plastic ammunition for non-armor targets. Heat rounds to defeat thin armor vehicles, and at last to provide anti-personnel fragmentation canister round is used. Secondary armaments include the 7.62mm coaxial machine gun having 3400 rounds and a 50 caliber machine gun having 400 rounds, and also there are M6 smoke grenade launchers. The fire control system of the MGS Striker includes a thermal sight for gunner and a thermal panoramic sight for the commander with a laser rangefinder. This improves vehicle fighting ability in both day and night. One of the notable features is the battle management system, which helps in exchanging information and intelligence, marking friendlies and enemies on the battlefield. This also minimizes friendly fire. The driver is also provided with thermal imaging site for driving at night. M1128 Striker is fitted with a Caterpillar C7 turbo diesel engine, producing 350 horsepower at 2,500 rpm, with a range of 480 kilometers. It has a top road speed of 96 kilometers per hour. The weight of MGS is around 21 tons, meaning it has the power-to-weight ratio of 18.65 horsepower per ton, which is quite average, but enough for the wheeled vehicle. On plane surface, the vehicle can run on four wheels and can be switched to all-wheel drive depending on the terrain type, which makes it quite agile. Due to its lightweight and fire support role, it can be transported by C-130 by compromising a little bit of weight. One thing that adds to its maneuverability is if four of the eight wheels got damage, MGS will still be able to move and fight depending on rest of the wheels, making it much more tactical. Although this vehicle looks like an impressive and formidable weapon, it has a number of drawbacks, and it is most hated by the crew on the battlefield. In order to reduce the weight, the gun pod has no armor, so it has much chance of getting hit by small firearms. There is no remote weapon station available, the commander has to come out to use a heavy machine gun. Another issue is low amount of rounds available, only 18 105mm rounds are carried, 
8 shells are in ready-to-fire carousel, and 10 are available in the replenishment magazine. With cramped interior and compact crew compartment with small hatches, makes crew exit difficult in emergency situations like fire. Also, the cost is much higher as it uses much sophisticated and complex technology, making it one of the expensive armored fighting vehicles to be acquired in large number.